So hello, I'm Dr. Wendy Burton, GP from Morningside, and I'm here with my colleague, Dr. Di Po, obstetrician gynaecologist. And we're going to talk to you today about contraception options after the first six weeks postpartum. So just to summarize, um, in the first six weeks postpartum, common contraceptive options that might be chosen, are lactation amenorrhea method, abstinence, condoms, the progesterone-based contraception contraceptives, the Marina IUD, the mini pill, the Depo Provera injection, the Implanon, uh, and for women who are not breastfeeding but not in that first four weeks, consideration of combined oral contraceptives such as the pill or the Nuva Ring. The caveats there being to be mindful of the impact that some of the progesterone based contraceptives may have upon mood and to be confident in inserting a Marina that a woman uh, has reached a normal. Um, state with her bleeding and that her uterus has involuted. So we've passed that point now. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, actually, all of those options are now still on the table. Uh, but can I also um, ask you, Di, uh, once we've passed that first six weeks, are there any other options that particularly you'd like to talk to us about or myths you'd like to bust? I think one that we have probably been misconceived about is the impact of the combined oral contraceptive pill on milk production and once a woman's breastfeeding is established and she is um, feeding her baby without any assistance um, or issues um, then actually starting a combined oral contraceptive pill after the six week mark isn't going to reduce her milk production at all so we can use that and there's still a tendency to avoid it because of historical events really, um, but the research would tend to suggest it's actually completely safe. So they won't be prothrombotic anymore and their milk supply is well established. So some women at the six week mark, it's still a little bit iffy, but once they, in terms of their milk production, mm. but once that has been established, once they're into a good routine, once they're happy, we're happy with that, mm. then that would be their pill and options such as the Nuva Ring. Yeah, I think that's right. I have to say, when you see women at six weeks, a lot of them still really aren't that confident about how their breastfeeding's going. Um, and so I think if there's any concern about that, I would be hesitant and mm -hmm. I'd perhaps leave that for uh, another time and maybe three months might be more appropriate for a woman in that situation. But I think once it's clear that things are going well with it um, and they're happy, then I think anywhere after six weeks is appropriate. And I think certainly for some women with the chaos of a, a household with a newborn, mm. uh, the differential between the three hour rule mm. with the um, mini pill and the option, do you advise them 12 hours, do you advise 24 hours? Normally I say 12 hours, mm. yeah. but, but realistically also if they're taking the pill consistently um, and a lot of the time I would these days recommend women try cycle their pill, then missed the pills make so much less difference to their risk of pregnancy anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. We didn't discuss for the first six weeks uh, options such as tubal ligation and vasectomy. Di, that was on purpose. Um, we, um, not to, to overlook the fact that some couples have most definitively finished their families and, and well and truly don't wish to have any more, so a, a sterilization option would be appropriate. But um, what's your take on using something like a tubal ligation or vasectomy for contraception in the first, um, well, I guess even the first couple of months postpartum. So there are quite a lot of women that will ask about being sterilised at the time of caesarean section, and that's not an unreasonable request as they're already having surgery, uh, doesn't really add anything significant to the morbidity. It does have a slightly higher failure rate, uh, and that's a bit to do with method, but also um, the vascularity of the uterus at the time. So probably we would quote the failure rate at about one in 200, um, so they need to be aware that it doesn't always work. There's a potential, however, for regret. And the problem is, I think, and you'll all be aware, that the highest risk time in our lives is our first 12 months of life. And so if something untoward were to happen to their newborn baby and they changed their mind about having children, being sterilised may not be reversible for them, so they may regret that decision. So in general, I would counsel women to use a reversible contraceptive method until their baby's 12 months old, to be certain that that's the decision they really want to make. Uh, if a situation is such that a woman has a very high uh, risks associated with future pregnancy or has had a lot of pregnancies and it's very clear she's not going to go there again, I certainly wouldn't try and talk her out of having a sterilisation procedure at the time of caesarean section if that's what she wished. Mm -hmm. um, but the same counselling would hold true I think for vasectomy in terms of time frames that I would normally recommend um, that men don't get that in the first 12 months either. 
So I guess in summary, the uh, contraceptive options for women after the first six weeks um, postpartum uh, include the lactation amenorrhea method, but of course once uh, solids or venue formula is introduced or even water, uh, or if the baby is going further uh, between feeds, either overnight or during the day. So I think it's three hours or six hours um, we're looking at during the day overnight. Uh, and this is likely to happen as that child gets older, uh, then that method um, becomes less reliable. Mm, that's um, true. So, um, so lactation amenorrhea method, uh, abstinence, which hopefully and presumably will become less frequent, uh, the condoms, uh, but are only as, as good as their effectiveness of their use, uh, the mini pill, the marina, uh, the depo-provera or implanon option, so our progesterone-based contraceptives, and our combined oral contraceptive pill or the Nuva ring, even if women are breastfeeding, once that breastfeeding is well established. Mm. So for some women that might be six to eight weeks, other women that may be three months or more, uh, they could be used tubal ligation and vasectomy for select patients who um, are absolutely confident that that is the right decision for them. Mm. Have we left any off? I suppose the only other thing is the copper OCD. I have to say I put maybe one or two of those in a year, mm -hmm. but um, they're not so popular these days. But I guess if there was a problem with hormones for a woman, then that's still an option too. And again, I would think it would be reasonable to insert that at around about the six week mark or thereafter. Yes, and perhaps for or women who, who are um, particularly sensitive to um, progesterone mm. from a mood perspective, then having that copper IED option is to remind ourselves about. Mm. Okay, all right. Thank you very much.